Oh, it's a nail biting one. We are panicking. The netball visuals are quite something else. Ooh. 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 Look at Norma Plama. She is delighted. You talk about famous victories. This is a famous draw. What a game. What a game, South Africa. 48 goals apiece. Pumza Maweni. Well, she should be made a dame or something. She was absolutely outstanding. And look at that score. Your eyes do not deceive you wherever you may be sitting. Sure, I tell you, we were all, as we were taking the calls, my eye was on the side of the screen as we were watching these visuals. And I'm not sure if we can put them up again because this was a nail-biting finish. At some point, it was 47-48. And we all thought that this is it. We've lost. And what a nail-biting finish. Oli is going to, be, going to be here. And we'll talk about this particular result. We were all wondering what was going to happen because this is a crucial game for the Proteas. We'll bring you more on this. It, you know, it, it really is one of those moments where we're proudly South African as we're watching all these, you know, sporting events unfold. Banyana, banyana, the Proteas. And uh, we'll continue to bring you more. All right, uh, she's here. That is uh, Oli to tell us exactly what all of this means. Now, Oli, uh, a lot of us were, you know, I remember when, <laughs> you know, sometimes wish the viewers can see what's going on behind the scenes because as we were taking the callers, my, the corner of my eye was yeah. right there on the netball. And I felt like screaming because we were right there in the nail-biting time. What does it mean now that we've drawn? Okay. There are tons of permutations and it now means that the calculators need to come out. So the fact that we've drawn against New Zealand gives us slight hope. We are now on five points as it stands. So tomorrow when we play against Uganda, we need to make sure that we win that encounter to move to seven points. But New Zealand is already on seven points. Mm. So we then have to pray that New Zealand loses against Jamaica because Jamaica as it stands are topping our group so they have moved on to the semi-finals. So if New Zealand loses against Jamaica tomorrow and we win against Uganda tomorrow, it's gonna go down to goal percentage. And maybe, just maybe, we might sneak into the semi-final. So this means tonight we are not sleeping, we are fasting, fasting and prayer. And we Listen. are just making sure and crossing every finger and nails, toenails, everything. Absolutely. To make sure that we, we make sure we win tomorrow. Woo. It's <sighs> going to be another one. But uh, we have got faith. We've got faith. Our women's national teams have shown that they really are able to deliver yeah. and give us results when it matters most. And I'm sure the SPA priorities will do the same tomorrow. We certainly are hopeful. Take it away.